Members of the faith can walk around Mary St. Edmunds any time through the day, carrying on their business. They could walk around, <laughs> creep up behind the German, <laughs> and reveal themselves. Steady on, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Now you calm down, Pops. I know you've been so kind to ask us over here to help you out with the war effort, but man, your attitude stinks. Why, I've been asked by the President to see how you guys are treating our GIs. And right now, Mr. Mannering, you need to get some manners, Mannering. Mum says you're all the same, you yanks. <laughs> Not last night, you didn't. <laughs> anyway, I don't like your attitude. As I said, I've been sent by the president. In fact, I'm going to have your name. And if I had the piece of paper, I'd write it down, you know. And here, the president will have you taken out and shot. What's your name, soldier? Do that again. Good. And you'll keep your face shut. I'll have you shot. I'm glad I said that right. And he'll take you out and have you shot. What's your name, soldier? <laughs> Stop it. We can stay here all day. What's your name? Don't tell him, Pike! <laughs> Godfrey, otherwise you'll be running the lab again. <laughs> Do you know what, Godfrey, I don't like it here. Yeah? What's that then? Well, my dear old dad passed away in this very theatre. In the stalls, row J, seat 17. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Wilson. Captain Mannering, mine hasn't got a head on it, sir. 
He's down an airport. Oh. Stupid boy. Right, Jones, Godfrey, if you like to go on and get part for the next part of the operation. Yes, Captain Manorin, sir. Come along, Godfrey. You've got to get ready for the next part of the operation. I hope this operation's better than my last one. Do you know I've only just been able to stand up straight this week? <laughs> Thank you, Godfrey. Thank you. My old man said follow the van and don't dilly-dally on the way. Oh, well, the van with me old pat in it. I'm falling along with me old pat in it. How about a little Shakespearean scene, sir? How about that? A little bit of Shakespeare. Do you have anything in mind? Well, well yes, sir. Um, Romeo and Juliet. But one of them is a woman. <laughs> well, I always fancied having a go at Juliet, sir. <laughs> Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou Romeo? Well, sir, no wonder the men talk about you so. <laughs> Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not be sworn by love, I'll no longer be a Capulet. Well, sir, will you stop calculating on stage? <laughs> I've got a better idea. There's a famous variety act called Wilson, Keppel and Betty. And I think you would make a good Wilson, Wilson. And I, sir, I think you'd make a marvellous Betty. <laughs> Don't know. 